Hey guys, what's up? Scooter here with Macintosh Tips, and today I have a tip for you guys. Uh, now today what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, do a video response to Matt's Macintosh. He did a great video. If you haven't checked it out, be sure to check it out after this video. He gives a lot of great tips to really enhance your movies that are made with iMovie. iMovie really is an advanced program, guys, and a lot of people down it and say that you really need Final Cut to make professional videos. But if you look back at many of our videos, they're all made with iMovie uh, or ScreenFlow. Because iMovie 09 has a lot of great tips. They can do screen screening, uh, a lot of good color grading, a lot of good titles. It's awesome and it's really professional. So like I said, uh, Matt's Macintosh, he did a great video talking about advancing your movies. And I'm going to do an enhancement, or um, not really an enhancement, but just another tip uh, that he could have included in his video. It's going to be uh, beat snapping or photo snapping to your beats. So for example, when you have photos playing the music, they don't always seem synced with the beat. They just move at their own pace and the song could be at a really high point and the photos still move slow or the beat might drop and the photos aren't really changing uh, that rapidly. So today I'm going to show you how to easily do that. So what you're going to do, number one, you're going to add your project. So let me go back and uh, add a new one here. Alright, once I've added my new project, I'm going to go ahead and go to my music and I'm going to go ahead and import some of my uh, pre-YouTube beats that I had made by one of a good, great YouTubers. I will put his link in the description box, but yeah. So I have my audio here. Once I go ahead and do that, I'm going to go up to the audio, select the little gearbox, and hit clip trimmer. Now, before you start, you want to make sure a couple things. Number one, you want to make sure that um, if you go to view, you want to make sure that snap to beats is turned on. You can just go to view and click it or hit command U. So make sure snap to beats is on. This will snap your photos to the beat. Now, if you know exactly where your photos are or where you want the photos to change in the song, you can just drag this little music so, uh, note here, and you'll drag it, and you'll have a beat marker, and you'll white little white line. When it gets to that point in the song, the photo will change, which is pretty cool. Or you can do that, but that's that's kind of a it's kind of a hard task to do. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and press the M key, the M key, which is right beside the comma or the N. You're gonna tap that key. Uh, once you want the photos to change. So just let's play the music and you'll see uh, that I'll press the M key and that these little beat markers will pop up. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, we have something special down here at Birdland this evening. Something special. Special. That's good enough. Uh, as you see, I have probably about 15 beat markers here, 21 beat markers. As you see here, these are little white lines. So I'm going to hit done. Once I hit done, I'm going to go over here and add my photos. So be sure that you do the little beat markers first, then you add your photos. Very, very key. So I'm going to drag some photos here that I have. And that should be enough. I'm going to drag them right in. So I have 20 stills adding. You want to make sure that your number of beat markers does match the number of stills. And be sure and be warned that once you add your photos, you cannot go back in and add more beat markers. You have to take all the photos out and then redo it again. So, uh, also you will notice that all my stills are not at the same pace. This still is 1.4 seconds. Uh, this one's 1.3. This one's 3.9. Um, so they're not they're different uh, speeds. So make sure that when you do do this um, tip, you want to make sure you want to make sure that sorry. You want to make sure that applies to all stills is not checked. Do not check that box. So if you, um, now let's look at the clip and let's see how the photos are synced to the music. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, we have something special down here at Birdland this evening. Something special, special. So you see, every time the beat drops with the loud cat, the photo changes. So that's just a quick tip that I wanted to show you guys. It's called beat making, or snapping to beat, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and it really will enhance your videos if it's a photo uh, slideshow. So you can get creative with the music and then have it uh, sync with the music as well. 
So this is Scooter with Macintosh Tips. If you do have any questions, guys, be sure to comment below. I do reply to comments um, very nice and readily. And again, this is a video response to Matt's Macintosh. He did a great video, which was uh, which is really stellar. But I thought this uh, this video or this tip could have been added as well. So I just wanted to share it along and pass it along to you guys. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Peace.